Hey, it's Helena with Red Dye. And I'm Darren, Lion Brand Yarn's official knitter and dye enthusiast. Darren and I are here to show you some cool ways to dye yarn using the RIT Lion Brand Yarn Dye Kit featuring tons of cool color options. It comes with either the Fisherman's Wool or 24-7 Cotton Yarn, two of my favorites. We'll take you through how to dye variegated and multicolored yarn using three different techniques. Ready to dye? Let's do it! Before we get to the fun part, let's untwist the hank and secure it with four loose ties around the yarn to keep it from tangling during the dye process. For fisherman's wool, you should pre-soak your yarn in water with dish soap. This helps to remove the natural lanolin. Then after, do another pre-soak with two tablespoons of salt for cotton yarn or two tablespoons of vinegar for wool yarn. We'll set this aside for now and let it soak while Helena shows us how to prepare the dye baths. Each kit comes with three powder dyes, but the color options are endless with our custom formulas included in the instructions. We're gonna add two teaspoons of powder dye and one teaspoon of salt for cotton or one teaspoon of vinegar for wool yarn. Then fill with four cups of very hot water just below 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat helps to open up the fibers in the yarn to absorb the dye. Make sure to mix until the powder dye and the salt dissolve. What should we dip into first? How about royal blue? Okay. For dip dyed yarn, it's important to choose colors that blend nicely together. Think about how your stitches will blend together. To create the gradient, slowly move the yarn up and down into the dye bath. Rinse and repeat with the second color, overlapping slightly to create that seamless ombre look. Variegated dyed yarn is great for colorful projects and typically uses three to four colors sporadically throughout the yarn. Place the damp yarn on a wire rack over a plastic container and pour the dyes over the hank allowing the colors to overlap and bleed into one another. The speckled dye technique is almost too easy. You don't even need to make a dye bath. You just need to make sure the yarn is still hot to the touch from the pre-soak. Using a light hand, sprinkle the dry powder over the yarn. Use very little dye to create defined speckles. And because we're using the powder dye raw, you'll see surprising colors pop up. For example, Kelly Green contains blue speckles, purple and petal pink contain red speckles. And now we'll cover the yarn and allow for the steam to build up. For added heat, you can place the damp yarn into the microwave for one to two minutes. Alternatively, you can cover it with foil and heat it in the oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. And make sure you let the yarn cool and absorb the dye for at least 30 minutes. And once it's cool and ready, rinse in cold water with a mild detergent and hang to dry. You can use a ball winder to cake it up for later. And here are some skeins we already dyed up. Variegated, speckled, and dip dyed. I used the kit to dye and knit up this fisherman's wool hat for Darren. I love it. And here's a 24-7 hat for Helena. Ah, it's amazing. So good. Thanks for joining us. Until next time. I can't believe you made this.